Hey there, I'm Christina from hairromance.com. Now I've just had my hair colored pink this week and I'm actually really loving it. And I had a really amazing blow dry, um, which I posted on my Instagram account. And I wanted to show you the steps I'm gonna to take to try and recreate that blow dry at home. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I've had my hair colored. Um, my hair's looking a little bit worse for wear, but I don't really wanna wash it because I know the pink's gonna wash out. And I wanna wear it out so and do some new tutorials. So I'm going to show you exactly the steps I take to refresh my hair and fix up the bits that need it. So you can tell from, oh, I can't tell what you can see through the camera, but for me, I can see that um, my roots are looking a tiny bit oily. I'm really lucky once I get my hair colored, it takes a long time for my roots to get oily, but it's usually something to be aware of after you have a blow dry. And there's a few sections kind of around my face here where the hair's just looking a bit wavy, a little bit worse for wear, and um, overall just looking a little bit flat. The curls have dropped and it's just not looking as good as before. So I'm gonna show you what I do to um, recreate that salon look at home, uh, and it hopefully shouldn't take too long. Now, I'm gonna start with some products first. I'm gonna start with dry shampoo. Um, I love the Batiste dry shampoo. Now with dry shampoo, what I'm going to do is um, spray it at the roots. Um, I'm really noticing that my hair is just a little bit flat right here at the crown, um, and a little bit around the back here. Um, often at night, if you, um, like I do, I move around a lot, so here's where my hair's sitting a little bit flat slightly here at the front, but I don't know that I need too much, just a little bit of product here at the front as well. Now, uh, I'm just gonna let that work its magic. Um, if you've had a problem with using dry shampoo before, I'm going to link one of my other videos um, which has some tips about um, how to use dry shampoo better. Now before I brush that through, um, I've got a new product to try. This is a bit me testing it out, so we'll see how it goes. Um, this is the um, Maui Moisture Blowout Mist. Now uh, this blowout mist is something that was recommended um, to me by Kenneth Stoddart, who's the um, hair director for Priceline, uh, and this is where you can get this product. Um, I'm I, when I had my blow dry done, in fact, they used a blow dry mist in my hair and that's where I started to get really interested in them. I've heard about them before, they've been around where they speed up your blow dry and add a little bit of grip to your hair. But I hadn't heard about using them to refresh your blow dryer. And this is Kenneth's tip to give a light mist in dry hair and then re-blow dry and that might will kind of refresh your blow dry. So I'm gonna give that a try as well. I think I particularly, the sections I'm gonna really restyle um, are just around the front here. You don't need to redo all of your hair. Unless maybe you should just probably wash and start again. Mm, this smells quite nice and fresh. Now this is actually quite lovely. It smells really nice and fresh. It's quite a damp spray. So I wouldn't go straight from using this to a flat iron. I'd let my hair um, dry out a little bit first, but going straight to a blow dryer is gonna be fine. Now you're gonna need a brush. Um, I have a couple of different size brushes here. I'm probably gonna go with a smaller one because I want a little bit more tension, though at the end I might use a bigger one to finish. Now I'm gonna start here at the front because we don't really need to do all of our hair again. We just need to start with what we can see, just do that top layer and fix it up from there. product is actually creating a nice amount of shine back into my hair. Oh, there's also a great product which um, the Batiste Heat and Shine Spray is one that I would go through for this one if your hair's looking really matte and a bit flat. Um, that, that would add heaps more shine back into your hair. Now, one of the tricks that I think I'd like to show you um, about blow drying your hair at the salon, they often blow dry with a little bit of a twist and then bring it down and that's gonna create a little bit more of a nice little wave, uh, which I quite like. Otherwise, you can use a curling wand, which I might do at the end as well. I'm just gonna sort of see how my hair works.
The trick when blow drying your hair um, and using a brush is you really want to create a nice amount of tension and you always want to blow dry from the roots down to the tips of your hair to get that smooth and shiny finish. See, so I've only really blow dried three sections across the top and already that's looking so much better. Um, and then depending on how you're gonna wear your hair, you might wanna do a few more sections around the front. I'm just gonna keep styling around. Um, I'll probably speed this up so you have to watch all of it. The section's being really a bit annoying. I can see I've just got a real kink here. Um, if you wanted to, you could always re-wet a section of hair um, or just add a little bit more product. That's what I'm gonna try and do with this section. Now I've switched brushes at this point. I've gone to a bristle brush because I think it gives a better shine and a much more sort of smoother finish. Um, you can use, um, like I love my Mason Pearson, but I've recently been testing out these Eco Tools brushes um, and I'm a really big fan. These are great, they're vegan friendly as well if you're not into bristle brushes. And at this point is kind of when I'm brushing out that dry shampoo that's been at the back here. It's now giving me a lot more volume underneath. Okay, so with the blow dryer, I can only do so much, and now I'm going to use um, a curling wand just to add some more shape and shine back into my curls. Um, I'm also now going to use that uh, Batiste Heat and Shine Spray um, as a little bit of extra heat protectant and also to help add in that shine. so much stuff over when I'm trying to do these tutorials. It's also like 900 degrees today and about 600% humidity so we'll see how we go. I swear it's these days I feel like wearing my hair out, it's like wearing a coat. Didn't really mean to curl all of my hair when I started filming this, but then I thought, look, if you're gonna do something, do it properly, which is not usually my style. I'm very much about shortcuts, but look, let's see. Let's be honest at least. Oh my God. Humidity in here is like a thousand. I can't turn the fan on because it would blow everything around. <laughs> Almost done. 
Hopefully with yours, you'll only have to do the top layer, so this won't even be necessary. Now I don't want to curl too close to the root up here because I don't want it to look too bridesmaidy. I want it to be more waves, so just drag it through my hair a little bit this way. Just to get a softer effect. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to let my hair cool and then we're going to brush it out. Don't skip the step because it's not how you curl your hair that matters, but how you cool your hair. You really want that to set so that when you brush it out, you still have those waves that stay behind. So now I'm going to grab my bristle brush and we're just going to brush through these curls. And then I also just like to use my fingers just to kind of bring that little bit of curl shape back in, but not too much. I think that's actually worked pretty well. Now here's where I would use a little bit of hairspray or a little bit of serum or hair oil if you want to tame any frizzies or um, add some extra hold. I actually think that's holding pretty well with the styling products I've already used. And so that's my refresh blow dry. So I think this could, if I sleep and follow my other tips that I'll, I'll link in my other video, uh, if I sleep with my hair up and twisted, I should be able to keep this going for another couple of days as well. Thanks so much for watching this far. Uh, this video didn't exactly go the way I was planning. I thought I would just be able to blow dry my hair and fix up those sections. And while it actually wasn't too bad, I'm kind of happy that I went along and curled it so that I have a result that I'm a bit happier with. I hope there are a few tips that you picked up along the way. And if you've got any tips, I always love to hear them. Please leave them in the comments below. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss my next video. And over on hairromance.com, I've always got lots of hairstyle ideas and more hairstyle tips as well. Thanks for watching. Have fun with your hair and I'll see you next time. Bye.